God can blow your mind with his blessings. You know, we look to help for help for this one, that one, and the other one. And God could be saying, that's way too small for what I had in mind for you. So listen to this. This is one of my favorite scriptures. You probably remember it as well. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. That's verse 21. Listen, you guys. We have to remember that God is the God of the impossible. He can do the impossible. Do you hear me? Everything I thought of, everything I dreamed of God doing, can you imagine what God could do? Can you imagine that? I love the fact that I can expect the best out of God, that no matter what I imagine, no matter what is in my mind, no matter what comes to my wildest dreams and imaginations, the thought that God can exceed that, think about it, the thought that God can go so far beyond it that he can actually blow our mind. He can bless our socks off because of the fact that he wants to bless us more than we want him to. That's the comical part. We don't realize how much God wants to bless us. Think about that. Okay. Anyway, I just want you to remember that God has not forgotten your labor of love. God has not forgotten the sacrifices you have made. God has not forgotten the people that you put before yourself and you laid your dreams and your 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 desires, your aspirations, your your future, your destiny. You laid it on in a back drawer somewhere thinking you may never see it ever again. It may never have another chance, but someone else's need came first. So you just laid your dreams aside and said, oh, well. Well, guess what? You go back in that drawer and you pull that thing out and show it to God and say, Lord, I still want this. I still want to accomplish this. Would you please help me? Would you please put everything in place and everybody in place and everything I need to get it done? Make it happen, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And then sit back and watch God do his thing. Be encouraged, you guys. God. God will. I can't even think of how to say it. But his heart is for us. He's not against us. He's for us. And just know that God will not forsake you. He will not ignore your heart's desires when you paid so close attention to someone else's needs at the expense of your desires, at the expense of ever fulfilling your dreams. Just remember that. God knows you, and he will do it. Amen? Amen.